crime, especially violent crime, comes with a physical and emotional price. Here in Indianapolis, police are responding to a growing public concern for the victims and the survivors of crime. RTV6's Jack Reinhardt spent the day looking into that story for us, and he joins us live from our downtown studio on Monument Circle with details. Jack. Well, Todd, the police department first formed up the Victims Assistant Unit in August of 1975, and at that time, it had become the first 24-hour on-scene crisis unit in the country, and it's been serving the victims of violent crime ever since. Four years ago, 30-year-old Joe McSweeney was shot and left to die in the street on the city's near southeast side. For his family that rushed to the crime scene that night, the wound remains open, the healing incomplete. I don't think I'll totally ever recover from having my son murdered. It, it wasn't what I wanted his life to be and end like. All his hopes and dreams and my hopes and dreams for him ended on that day. The police department has a victim's assistance unit, a group that helps the survivors pick up the pieces. Advocates rush to the scene of all violent crimes, including robberies, rapes, domestic violence, abuse, and neglect. On scene, victims' advocates become the calm inside the storm, a unit focused on emotional recovery. We focus on the fact that there's a hole in the heart, and it doesn't matter to us whether, you know, what the person was doing or not doing. You know, so we're, we're there to work with the people that are left behind. Beyond the initial crime scene, the Victims Assistant Unit helps steer survivors through counseling and therapy. They help prepare the survivors for their long road through the criminal justice system, whether they get justice or not. And for Stephanie Rader, every homicide since her son's murder, and for those still waiting to be counted, the violence takes another small toll. I pay attention, unfortunately, to every murder in this city. And I, I do cry for people. Now, the Victims Assistance Unit provides uh, services and counseling to more than 10,000 survivors annually. It also supports and sponsors a support group called Survivors of Violent Death. And uh, it's only one of two such groups in the country. And their advice remains, it's never too late to get help. Reporting live downtown, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.